I was in pain and nobody believed me. It was this mystery that nobody could explain. And it just wasn't getting better. They brushed it aside, not understanding to the degree that the pain was. I know that she's always in a lot of pain and it breaks my heart to see her have to deal with that every day. I'm suffering, I'm suffering, fix me. Pain had traditionally been under-treated. Doctors began prescribing and patients began wanting. Valium, morphine, Percocets, Oxycontin, things now that we know are highly addictive. We didn't necessarily know back then. Can't get a pain meds, heroin's cheaper stay on that path because it makes more sense financially. When you're a chronic disease patient, you're a chronic pain patient, you're not mentally addicted to a high. You're not actually ever getting high from these things. I realize that my body is physiologically addicted, but I worry about abusing the medications. I've never felt like it's gone there. We're stuck with a number of people who have chronic pain but they're being treated by medications that are, were only really meant for pain relief or, or discomfort relief. Now I have anxiety. I'm gonna run out of pills and I'm not gonna be able to treat this pain. Since they become overly prescribed, now the pendulum has swung the absolute opposite way. Governments are good at coming out with guidelines, guideline after guideline after guideline. And we're seeing a lot of good movements by agencies to provide these new services, but they seem to be focused on the opioid problem and not focused on the pain problem. We really need to focus our efforts on empowering patients about the different types of alternative and complementary therapies. The problem is that when you're looking for something on the internet, you will find it. I don't believe any person that is taking pain medications wants to be on them. Finding treatments that really fit my body and lifestyle were a trial and error process. People with pain matter.